Oh, yes. <clears throat> What's going on, ladies and gents? So we are back at Rosith. Also known as the Croesus Rosith Fruit Trip. And we're coming in from the back end from Rosith. Yeah, we're gonna hopefully try and get to the Bridge of Death today, guys. This is our fifth or sixth attempt now. Every time we've come here, we've faced a different problem, so hopefully today we can overcome that. We've got a blow up boat and all our climbing gear with us, so fingers crossed, ladies and gents. Making our way up. So anyway, I hope you've all been good, guys. You know, it's been a while, and this video is well overdue. Some of my older followers will remember we tried to do this and blow up boats. Didn't go too well. So now we're back with climbing gear and more stuff. Oh. Yeah, I hope none of you have uh, let the COVID get you down. It's been a hard time for a lot of us. It's not been good not being able to get out and film. That's why when we come back, guys, we have to come back with a bang this time. So yeah, I'm with another friend, guys. Drone with DMB. Check him out on uh, YouTube if you're into your drum and bass. Yeah, guys, I'm going to try and film as much as I can for you, just so you get a good understanding of what this mine's like. It's pretty crazy. So that's all collapse. And around the corner is part of the great collapse. That's what I mean, he's done mines plenty of times. Man. Box is pretty bad. Wow. Tight, Straight man. up, Aaron. No, no, it's that way. No, it's left. No, it ain't. What, up there? No, yeah. we go up that way. No, we don't go up all that loose stuff. It's to the right and down. It's left. It ain't, because we go past them big slabs. You can see where it goes up. It's not, because last time, if you go back out in that tunnel, we've just oh, come up. All right, no, no, I'll see it. <laughs> all right, my bad. Come on, Kitty, you're meant to be helping me with directions, bro. <laughs> I've seen so many different mines, man. They all look the same now. Every turning looks the same. Well, just direct him, man. You'll point him out. You'll see the path when you get towards it. Oh. So, yeah, literally, you guys, I've got a bag full of rope. I've got my harness fully weighted. Take the off here a bit. And yeah, I've got a dinghy on my back as well. Fully loaded. 
I've probably got what an average army dude carries in his like Birkin, weight wise on me today. Thankfully, guys, I'm only doing this once. Them guys do that every day. Well, getting shot at some point. Yeah, this goes. This was known as the Great Collapse, guys. Yeah, just take it step by step, man. Just be, just be careful what you touch with your hands. Because certain bits can be holding up big piles. Right, this is, uh, you'll have to bear with me, guys, because I've got to try and film. And obviously, I've got all that kit with me. And kit himself with me. Oh. Yeah, we're climbing over mounds of deads. And yeah, we don't want to disrupt the wrong bit. That's why you've always just got to be extra careful, guys, when doing this. As I say, guys, don't... Don't do this yourself, we do this so you don't have to, literally, because this, this ain't no joke. And not just that, I've been doing this for a while now, I know what I'm doing, I like what well, I like to think I do. stuff now. This stuff's got a tendency to move no matter what. Oh, oh that extra weight's starting to show now. Tell it's night time. You usually say daylight here, don't you? Yeah, yeah, there's a hole to the outside up there. Yeah, the hole to the kitchen with me. Oh. Right, finally at the top of that. Oh. Let's keep it moving. So it gets a bit slippy. Whose house is that? Mine. Uh, <laughs> it's because you, you don't counter for the helmet. No. You don't think about the extra water like, height, do you? <laughs> oh, mate, he almost knocked himself out. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> Change of battery. That would be, um, begins with C. Um, that's the one, quartz crystal. Which is indeed. Right, guys, I'm going to leave you there anyway, and we'll see you when we get to the Chamber of Horrors. Peace. Guys, boats actually here today, guys. Believe it or not, we go to all the effort of bringing boats with us for no reason.
He's landed. Right, so yeah, I'll clip Aaron on, and then if you clip yourself onto that with your cow's tail, and wait to receive parcel, mate. Yeah, man, I don't need to No, no, he's got one. That's how Bear Grylls does it. <laughs> right, so Aaron. Show me down there. Yeah, you're going to have to get down here and show him how to clip his cow's tails on. So wait there for Kit. Kit will come down now and show you how to clip onto that rope going up where he is with his cow's tails. So yeah, just, just hang about, he'll be with you in two. What's going on guys? So we have all finally just abseiled down from there. Rigged up, come down. Always on a recovery operation to get my ropes that were here from two weeks ago when somebody cut the blue rope. But somebody, by the look of it, has been back and thankfully tied it on and has saved me the hard work of getting in that cold water. So thank you to whoever that was, absolute legend. And the paddles have been retrieved, I don't know how. But yeah. So this is the Chamber of Horrors, guys. And we're about to jump in this boat, paddle across to the other side in a minute. And then, uh, yeah, when these gents are on their way up the rope, I'll start filming from the top. I'll see you on the other side of that. I'll see you on the... I'll, I'll, I'll film as a crossing, guys. See you in a minute. Bud? Was it shallow? Yeah, yeah, shallow enough. Yeah, I, walk, I walked out a lot further than that to get in. Orthodox, but it works. Do I need a? No, I'm good. Right. We'll be back for you in a minute. Back in the boat out the bay. It feels abnormal to me to be paddling the other way, innit? I'm too used to, like, doing kayaking, though. See you later, my friend. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, blinding in there, like. Right? Do you want me to hold you back? Yeah, we're golden, man. A bit more of a sharper steer. Put more little paddles around there. What? What? Needs a two JZ strapped in here. Hey, that's what sunk the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> and you definitely wouldn't want to be swimming in it's way too cold. There's a trusty blue line look guys that somebody's put back in. It's a fair place for whoever's done that. Trooper. You saved me coming down here in a blow up and risking uh, getting very cold and very wet. <clears throat> so yeah, we're currently paddling across. The chamber to get up there. So I'm gonna have to get up there on a chest ascender and hand ascender and uh, set up another line for them guys to come up because that rope's too thick for their uh, pets all bits to clip onto. About turn. Is that a walkway up there? 
So I'm guessing that some way goes up and around to the left for you to go. Alright, let me jam him in this side, pull back, and I should start to turn north. Too many years of kayaking. <laughs> Even with one hand. Side a bit. Usually in a kayak, when you twist your hips and stuff to like spin the kayak around faster, it's not quite working out the same in this canoe. Where's your the chain is passable in a second. Alright, guys, I've now got a Clip myself on and end up there. So I'll uh, see you at the top. You know me, you guys know how to measures. You will see me at the top. So guys, as I said, I'll see you at the top. We're at the top. Um, yeah, the rigging's absolutely bomber here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Some old high tension wires. And there comes uh, Aaron and I like Droma DMV. Right, we've got them rigged up, so I just got to back this up, guys. And uh, yeah, once the others are up here, we'll show you something special, guys. That is the Bridge of Death, ladies and gentlemen, the actual Bridge of Death itself. So we'll be back in a minute once I've got these lads up, and we'll carry on the video, guys. I'm quite actually like. Bit taken back. It's been a while, and uh, this is a long time coming, guys, for me. So to actually finally be here is a special moment, and I'm glad to actually have the camera with me to take you guys with me and document this. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute, guys. I got you on light anyway. You're alright, just bend your, out, bend, bend, bend your backside out. You've probably gone on the wrong side to be fair. Aaron, <laughs> look at me bro. Man, get the wobbly leg in that on the go. <laughs> Happens to the best of us at first man, you get halfway in and you're a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> See, he's just halfway uh, point and he's like, um. Oh <coughs> is this where you start like thinking like in life, innit? Like, what am I doing to myself? <laughs> yeah, it's steady on your foot in Aaron. Yeah, yeah, no, it does, it does, it's all good. Remember, there's a steel chain the other side of you. If you want to put your foot, once you get past that point there, grab your one hand one side and the foot on the other side and just wobble yourself down. That's it. Duck your head under that rope. That's the job, e kid. Right, right hand on the steel wire that goes down, if you can reach it. There you go. Now just wiggle yourself down. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but he's doing the job. He's, <laughs> he's, get, he's, get, he's getting it done. <laughs> oh, I know, mate, I know. You're almost there, boy. Put, put both feet onto that steel wire the other side and both your hands on there if need be and just pull the cow's tails around the back of you. Or just, yeah. <laughs> Check my man in his big cojones. <laughs> Fair play, son. <coughs> well, there you go, boys. <coughs> Mr. Aaron has just crossed the bridge of death. <laughs> It didn't look very orthodox, but he got it done. That's all that matters. He's, he's, done, he's done more than most cavers out here, and most explorers as well, for that matter. <laughs> all right, ready, Ben? <laughs> it's 
Mr. Kit on the bridge of death. Whiskey decks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what what was that? It's my way of making it over with. Yeah, however it's got to be done, get the job done, isn't it? So don't so what he's literally walked on there guys is probably a two hundred year old bit of like rusty metal. Well no, yeah, it's an old railway sleeper, isn't it? And that's tied on with a bit of rotten string <laughs> onto a bit of 200 year old bit of rotten wood so we yeah it's got to be done guys just just to get you that footage as we do yeah we'll uh have a butchers around here in a minute guys and then carry on here goes matty mm -hmm. Just a smile for the video. Right, ladies and gents, so we are just coming back across the bridge. Kits in the middle of a little tree verse. Just passing a rebelay. As you do. But yeah, guys, it's been too long. <clears throat> it has been a while. But we will be back now with more content for you. We spent the past five, six trips coming here trying to crack this, and we finally cracked it now. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all that funny stuff. And uh, yeah, finally, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.